Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we jump into today's video, I noticed something crazy. Only 10.2% of you watching are actually subscribed. That means a massive 89.8% .8 of you are not subscribed yet. Come on guys, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the video. Let me know in the comment section down below which feature was your favorite. Some of these are brand new Samsung tricks and some are classic favorites that most people still don't know about. So the more you like the video, the more YouTube spreads it to other Samsung users. And it tells me you're loving this content so I can bring more cool features and new ideas. All right, let's get into it. So feature number one is your notification history. Notification history gives you a complete timeline of every notification that appeared on your device in the last 24 hours. Even if you swiped it away instantly, dismissed it by accident or cleared everything from the notification panel. So it logs alerts from all the apps like WhatsApp messages, Instagram, system warnings, missed calls, banking notification, game rewards, email previews, and everything else. So as an example, if you had a message on WhatsApp and you basically cleared it here, you can go ahead and view that notification in your notification history. So Samsung basically turns your phone into a notification backup system, even if alert pops up for half a second and disappears. You can still go back and read it. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So here you need to go ahead and open up settings. Next, go ahead and scroll down and find notification. From here, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced settings. And here you need to find notification history. Tap on this, go ahead and turn this feature on. And then now you'll see all the notification. So as you can see, this is a notification I've received on WhatsApp, just 11.32, just two minutes ago. And I have basically dismissed it by just going ahead and swiping to the left in notification. And this is what the notification I'm getting. So as you can see, these are all the notifications that you see. If you scroll down, you'll see the last 24 hours notification from WhatsApp, voice wake up, Gmail, email, Google, my bank account, AliExpress, and many other apps. If you go ahead and expand this, you'll see all the notifications that have appeared on your phone. So why it matters? So you never miss important messages again, especially from apps that show one-time alerts like banking or OTP codes. It saves you from frustration when you accidentally swipe away something you needed. It's great for productivity because you can track how apps behave and which notification you're actually receiving. It helps with digital organization, especially if you have a lot of notification during the day. And this is perfect for people using their phone for business, finance, delivery apps, or email heavy workflows. Feature number two is where you can call someone without opening the dialer. So this Samsung shortcut lets you place calls instantly without even opening the dialer app. So you can do this just from your home screen search bar or the edge panel. So just go ahead and type the name, tap call and boom, you're dialing in seconds. So this feature basically transforms your phone into a quick action communication device. So there's two ways. So the first one is the edge panel and the second way is using the finder on your Samsung Galaxy device. So the edge panel is this panel here where you can go ahead and swipe and enable these contacts. To enable the edge panel, go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find display, scroll down and find edge panels, switch it on, and then go ahead and tap on panels and make sure your people panel is turned on. Go ahead and edit it. And here you can go ahead and add all the names of the people you want to add on the edge panel. Go ahead and go back and then go ahead and call people from here. So just go ahead and tap on them. And then this will basically ask you if you want to dial the number or you want a message. Now, the second way of dialing a number is just going ahead and opening up your search feature here. Go ahead and enter in the name who you want to dial. So for example, I'll go ahead and dial my surgery, scroll down, and this is my surgery number here. So if I go ahead and tap the call, this will call the number. So if I go ahead and dial the number, this will dial the number on my phone. So no more going ahead and opening up your call app, going through the contact list and going ahead and dialing. So this saves time, especially when you're in multitasking or in a hurry. You avoid unnecessary taps and app loading. This is perfect for one-handed use or when you're walking, carrying items or driving. This helps a LD user, busy professional, or anyone who wants faster access to their contacts, and it makes the phone smarter, turning everyday tasks into instant actions. 
Feature number three is where you can hide the status bar when taking screenshots. So when you go ahead and take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy device and you look at the screenshot, you'll notice that in your screenshot, you'll see your status bar at the top here on your screenshot. So in your Samsung Galaxy device, you can go ahead and hide these features when you take a screenshot. So when you enable this feature, Samsung automatically removes your clock, Wi-Fi icon, battery percentage, notifications, and signal strength indicator from the screenshot. So the screenshot only captures the app content itself, creating a clean and a professional image. So this is extremely useful for sharing screenshots online, posting guides, or sending images to a friend without revealing your private life. So let me show you how you can hide this screenshot status bar. So let me show you how you can hide this status bar from your screenshots. So to hide this, you want to go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down, and you want to find advanced features. Now from here, scroll down and find screenshot and screen recordings. Now on this menu here, you want to go ahead and find hide status and navigation bar. So if you go ahead and turn this feature on, this will hide the status bar at the top and it'll hide the navigation bar at the bottom if you have this enabled. So once that's done, go ahead and open up a screenshot. So let's just say, for example, Google Chrome, and I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. So now when I go ahead and look at the screenshot, you'll notice that now the status bar and the navigation bar has disappeared. So now when you go ahead and share this, you're basically just sharing the screenshot. You're not sharing anything at the top here, and you're not showing them your navigation bar. So this makes screenshot look clean, aesthetic, and distraction-free. It protects your privacy by hiding notification icons, battery levels, or Wi-Fi names. It's perfect for content creators, bloggers, students, or anyone sharing screenshots regularly. And this helps with work conversation as well. So if you're dealing with support tickets or tutorials, since you're giving people clean examples as your screenshots. Feature number four is where you can save battery using performance profile. So Samsung allows you to choose between standard and light performance mode. Light mode reduces CPU power, background activity, and animation just enough to save your battery without making the phone feel slow. So it's a subtle but a powerful way to extend battery life on both old and new devices. So this setting is deep inside Samsung's device care system and optimizes how your phone uses resource throughout the day. So let me show you how to configure this. So first, go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down and find device care. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and you wanna go ahead and find performance profile. If you tap on this, you'll see that you have two options. So one standard, so this provides a recommended balance between processing speed, battery life, and cooling efficiency, while the second one is light, so it prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency or processing speed. So go ahead and choose light. So as it reads down below here, this setting doesn't apply to games, so you can manage game performance in game booster settings. So those who are into gaming, changing this won't affect your game at all. So why you should change to the light performance here? Well, it basically helps your phone last hours longer, especially on travel days or long work shifts. It reduces the heat, improving device lifespan. It keeps your performance stable. So this is great for mid-range phones or the old devices. And this is perfect for people who want maximum durability and efficiency. Lastly, it allows you to customize your energy to usage depending on your daily routine. Feature number five is where you can have live 3D wallpapers for your lock screen for free. So Samsung supports dynamic wallpapers, depth effect images, and motion graphics on the lock screen. So these wallpapers move, shift, and react to your phone's tilt, creating a 3D illusion. So if you use Samsung's Good Lock app with the Wonderland module, you can design your own animated wallpaper with, layer, with layers, lighting effects, and motion triggers. However, I'll show you how you can go ahead and just do this with one tap using an app. So this turns your lock screen into a mini animation every time you wake your phone up. So here I have an example. I have set this bike riding animation on my lock screen. So this is just one tap and it basically set it for me. So let me show you how you can do this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Play Store. Now in your Play Store, you wanna go ahead and search for live wallpaper and you want to go ahead and install this particular app so it's called the 3d wallpapers 4k and 4d now i'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and download it if you cannot find it now for those of you who are watching this video on your mobile phone you can go ahead and use google circle to search and you can go ahead and find this app as well that way
So now go ahead and install this. And then once installed, go ahead and open it. It's completely free of charge. Now, once installed, you'll come to this page here. Go ahead and find your wallpaper. You have a trending collection, Christmas collection, new collections, skull, anime, wolf, sports, winter, game. So there's something for everyone here. I really like cars, so I'll go ahead and tap on this. Some of them are just live wallpapers and some of them are parallax wallpapers. So let's go ahead and add this as my wallpaper. As you can see, when I'm go ahead and move my phone, it basically gives me a 3D effect on this. So to set this as my wallpaper here, I'll go ahead and tap on set wallpaper, and then I'll tap on get wallpaper. Since this app is free of charge, this will basically show you an ad. Go ahead and watch the ad, and then the wallpaper will be set. Tap on set wallpaper, and then tap on set wallpaper. Now you can go ahead and set this for your home screen, lock screen, or for both. I'll set it for both. So now that's been set, press continue. Now go ahead and look at your wallpaper. So on my home screen, this is how it looks like. And when I go ahead and lock my screen, this is how it looks like. So this makes your device feel premium, modern, and personalized. It's completely free of charge. It adds a depth movement, making the screen look alive. It lets you choose anything you like from the app. And this is great for showcasing your personality or style. And this basically creates a more engaging lock screen experience every single time you unlock your phone. Feature number six is where you can pin apps to lock the phone to one app. So have you ever been in a situation where someone wants to borrow your phone to call someone? and you want to go ahead and give it. However, you're scared that they might snoop through your phone. So as you can see, I've basically set this app here, the caller app, and now I can go ahead and give this phone to anyone. He or she will only be able to dial the number, can go through my contact list, but the other person won't be able to go to another app. So as you can see, when I press home, or when I press the recent app or press back, nothing really happens. If I go ahead and lock my phone, this will take me to my lock screen. And in order to now unlock it, I need my pin or I need face ID. Now the other person won't know my pin number or won't have my face ID. So he or she won't be able to do anything else. He or she will need to give the phone back to me and I need to go ahead and unlock it and then give it back to them in this state again. So how you can do this? Well, the answer is called app pinning. So app pinning locks your phone to a single app. So when enabled, whoever is using a phone cannot exit that app, open recent apps, or check your gallery, or access other features unless they enter your password or fingerprint. So this is a lifesaver when giving your phone to kids, friends, family members, or even employees in a business environment. So in order to exit this pin mode, I need to go ahead and use my two finger, press my recent and back together. This will take me to my lock screen. I need to go ahead and enter my pin number or my fingerprint. And then this will basically exit that pin mode. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So here you need to go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find security and privacy. From here, scroll down and find more security settings. And here you want to go ahead and find allow apps to be pinned. So go ahead and turn this feature on. So app pinning lets you keep just one app on the screen until you unpin it. So for example, you can pin a game app to let a friend play only that game. So when that app is pinned, the pinned app may open other apps and personal data may be accessible. So just be careful of that. Now go ahead and turn this feature on as well. Lock phone after unpinning. Now to pin an app. So for example, someone wants to use your calculator app. So you just want them to be on the calculator app itself. So in order to pin this, you wanna go ahead and open the recent app tap on the calculator here, and then find this option called pin this app. Go ahead and tap on pin this app. And now this will tell you how to unpin it. So using your two finger, you need to unpin this. So now you can go ahead and give this phone to the other person. He or she will only be able to use the calculator and he or she won't be able to go to any other apps. So this keeps your private apps like messages, banking, gallery completely protected. It prevents kids from accidentally leaving apps or making unwanted purchases, perfect for restaurants, checkout counters, or sharing your phone for videos. 
It increases the security when lending a device for a quick task, and it eliminates the risk of someone accidentally snooping on your device. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can use pin interest plus AI clipping to create new wallpapers on your Samsung Galaxy device. So Samsung's AI Select and Clip tool identifies objects, people, pets, and items in your photos, and it allows you to cut them out perfectly with one long press. So you can save these cutouts as stickers, combine them with pin interest wallpapers to create aesthetic, artistic, or thematic phone backgrounds. So pin interest gives you millions of high quality images, completely free, combined with Samsung's clipping tool and Goodlock's Wonderland app, you can build stunning wallpapers in minutes. So here we'll go ahead and create a Spider-Man theme wallpaper. So first we'll go ahead and install pin interest. Go ahead and install this on your phone. And now here you wanna go ahead and find a wallpaper. So let's go ahead and find a, a city wallpaper. So here I've found this wallpaper. I'll go ahead and download it to my phone. Download image. Now next I wanna go ahead and find Spider-Man. So Spider-Man taking a selfie or something. So let's just say, for example, this one here. So I wanna go ahead and use this Spider-Man. However, I don't like the background. So I'll go ahead and download this to my phone as well. Now that's downloaded, I'll go press home, go to my gallery and go ahead and view my pictures. So this is the one I wanna use and this is the Spider-Man which I wanna get. So using the clipping feature on your Samsung Galaxy device, go ahead and load that picture. Go ahead and long press on this. This will now let you clip that image. Now I can go ahead and save this as a image. However, I'll just go ahead and edit it right here. So I'll go ahead and take it to this new wallpaper, drop it here. I'll go ahead and increase the size. And then I'll go ahead and place it very well I like. Now I'll go ahead and press save. And now that wallpaper has been created. So now I can go ahead and set this as my wallpaper for my Samsung Galaxy device. I'll press done. And as you can see, this is a completely unique wallpaper which I've just created for my Samsung Galaxy device. So this gives you infinite wallpaper design possibility. It makes your phone look unique and hyper-personalized. No more generic wallpapers. This is great for matching themes, home screen setups and color palettes. Fun and creative, perfect for fans of customization. So you can create aesthetic collages, AI style wallpapers or character wallpapers, minimal designs or anime styles. And that's it, seven Samsung features you need to start using today. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, smash the like button, it really helps the channel grow. And remember only 10.2% of you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button to join the family and stay updated with the latest Samsung tips, hidden tricks and exclusive features. Let me know in the comment section down below which feature was your favorite and whether you want part two of this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.